Hey everyone, Pinchy Al here, and we're on our way to go pick up something special with the wifey <laughs> and Zanzo. Uh, so, because of you guys supporting us at Pinchy Al's Garage, going by using uh, Patreon, we're able to do this for you guys. Uh, since we had an overwhelming uh, amount of votes for the Mark IV uh, GT, uh, not, not GT, uh, Mark IV Jetta with the VR6 engine. Well, guess what? We're going to go get it, and we're going to go pick it up right now. So we're going to go check it out. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so we're here. Uh, your name, Eddie, right? Yes. All right, Eddie, uh, the owner of the 2000 uh, Volkswagen Jetta with the 12 valve VR6, five speed manual. We actually are super in luck because it's actually a GLX uh, chassis. So we got the actual power seating in this, heated seats. Uh, I actually haven't seen a fully intact wood grain trim in years. <laughs> so I'm actually pretty excited for this car uh, for you guys here. Leather seats are actually 100% intact, which is very rare. And there's a glove box, and it's broken. Ah, I knew it was gonna be broken. Yep. The magnet on it. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. It's, dude, it, it, one out of one out of ten cars oh, maybe God. have an intact glove box. Yeah. It's it's a feature when they're broken. I bought it like that. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, this this is a very very clean car, guys. So be excited because. You guys paid for it, so we're gonna build it. And then, uh, yeah, it's on TN coilovers, right? Yeah. Do you have coilovers on it? Coilovers. Uh, stock wheels, not bad. And I don't see any physical damage except for like a little bend here. I mean, for three hundred dollars, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> I'm very, very happy with it. Um, do you mind being on camera, Eddie? No, not at all. All right. So that's the owner right there, is Eddie. In his car and we're here to pick it up for you guys so stay tuned for so much more because we're going to tear it down and figure out what, what went wrong with this so this is eddie's uh, mark 4 jetta five speed vr6 over there eddie and uh leva perfect my wife right there uh we finally got it uh, hitched up on our, our trailer here and we got, he's gonna say goodbye Eddie's gonna say goodbye to his baby. <laughs> you know. Please, please follow it on YouTube. I would love for you to make comments and just enjoy the car. Yeah, I want to see the process. You know. So a lot of our Patreons and subscribers are definitely gonna be very interested in this car. So we yeah. definitely thank you, uh, Eddie and uh, Leva. You can, you can win it back. <laughs> yeah, you could try to win it back. You'd be surprised. <laughs> It'd be it'd be a hundred times better than when I when when uh than when it left. I pro I promise you that. I will definitely put as much love and effort into it that you guys did. Yeah. Oh yeah, you you're definitely gonna see a lot of progress, and we're gonna explain everything about these. I know everything about these cars inside and out, so these are one of my favorite cars. So. Oh. Um. No, no, I'm 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 getting this. This even has a hitch on here. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, it's got a height hitch. That's super cool. My, I like that. I was gonna tow a little uh, single trailer. Hey everyone, Pinchial here, and we got the car. Two thousand Jetta Mark IV VR6 five-speed manual. You guys can see here, this is the baby. Super, super clean engine bay for its age. Keep in mind, this car is legitimately 20 years old. It's got the riciest headlights 
possible, but not a big deal. We'll we'll get away from those. It's got a good grill though. I like the grill for sure. Um, we might have to design a Bozer hood for it. That'd be cool. But we're gonna do a quick walk around of this car so you guys can see what we got for you guys because you guys voted and this is what we bought because of you guys not because of me but because of you now this car is laying on TN coilovers stock wheels with actually really good Falcon tires I'm actually very impressed on the quality of the tires are on this car now we're actually gonna go do a quick walk around and look for extra any damage and I couldn't find any and you got to keep in mind this car is a 2000 this wing is gonna go this is not staying here that's not factory there's already a spider that made a, its home already there <laughs> it's got a tow hitch <laughs> can't tow much with these engines or these cars in general um, the only ding that I found on this car was right here and it's hard to tell, but it's a little dent right here. We'll be able to pop it out and strain that out in just a second. But you guys can see this thing is stupid clean. Um, besides the clear coat fading, that is pretty much it on this car's uh, exterior wise. We couldn't find any dings, actual damage done to the body. Um, besides obviously the, uh, the holes that were made on here to put the wing on. <laughs> You know, I mean, it'll be up to you guys if you guys want to keep that thing or not. But, I mean, personally, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, so now we're going to go into the interior. So we're going to work on the back seat first because, you know, all the business happens in the back. And here's the door. As you can see, super clean. Wood trim. Uh, barely cracking, actually. Very impressive. It's got, like, minor little cracks here, which is... Extremely common for uh, wood trim interiors. Um, you'll notice very, very clean seats in the rear. All the headrests are in place. No damage. No cracks, no rips, no tears. I mean, holy shnikes. Um, it is missing the rear um, ashtray very common on these cars because they break all the time so we'll make our way to the front again factory handle completely in place and it's clicky it's clicky that means it works okay again wood trim beautiful doors are completely intact and they're leather cards they're actually the black leather cards since this is a GLX model, we have power seats very hard to find in a Jetta with heated seats combo. These actually are combo heated seats, so super dope. These have the, uh, the memory as well, so they actually can retain your uh, setting. And we got one, two, three options to retain, which is super cool. This is the only damage done to the seats in this entire car. Um, this little like rough part. It's like rough. That's it. It's not ripped. It's just rough uh, Same thing goes for the passenger side That actually is actually that side is actually cleaner than this side and then we're gonna work our way to the front Now the center console looks like a typical mark IV center console a typical grime and stuff but it has all the wood trim and it's the dark uh, cherry style, which I love so much in these cars because it gives that that really cool, clean look and classy. This also has the climate control and the wood trim um, ashtray. The only thing we're missing is actually the wood trim lower piece right here that always falls off on these cars. Um, no steering wheel controls, which was actually kind of weird because this is a three spoke and since this is a GLX, um this did not come with this model this should have came with the uh, the four spoke with the uh steering wheel controls because this has the premium monsoon uh stereo so kind of odd with that uh, i'm gonna sit right in here and typical broken mark 4 glove box not uncommon 
uh, has a carpeted dash cover. I don't know if you guys are interested in that. Um, it might go, but the dash is super clean. Uh, no tears or rips that I see or cracks on it. The only downside of this dash, uh, honestly, is that uh, since he ran uh, adhesive on here, the, um, the dash is going to have stains. So we're probably going to invest on a, uh, on a replacement dash at the junkyard. Uh, just look for like a GTI dash or a Jetta dash and just swap them over. Uh, that way we can get rid of this uh, the stains on it so it looks a lot cleaner. Probably hunt down a glove box as well. Uh, the three-spoke wheel is cool because these actually are what comes in GTIs. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. He's got them, them upgraded race pedals, which I don't really care for. Uh, so we'll figure out how these were installed and maybe go around them and get rid of them. Uh, maybe get some Audi TT ones. Um, that's interesting. It's got an outlet right here, cigarette outlet. That did not come factory, I know that. The factory one was down here. So he must have added that to the car. But besides that, everything is so clean. Uh, the headliner actually has been redone on this car. It actually has gray suede, if you guys can see that. Um, this is actual suede, um, but there's stains on it. So we might have to get this uh, headliner re uh, cleaned up because I love it. It actually looks really nice. Um, it's well taken care of. Again, besides the stains that are on the corners, it's really well taken care of. Um, we don't know the mileage yet on this on this car. Uh, the engine is seized. I just gave it a crank over with uh, using the uh, breaker bar and it's it's stuck So more than likely either due to a uh, timing issue So it might be just valves hitting that are you know that got them seized or actually the engine is this, The pistons are stuck to the cylinder walls We'll find out when we actually pull the engine out of this car and start going from there and building it for you guys um, But again, what do you guys think about this car? We paid $300 for it and I think this is going to be an awesome, awesome project for everybody here at Pinchal's Garage because this is all for season seven for the people, by the people. And when we're done building this car, we give it to a, a lucky Patreon. And if you guys are not a Patreon, please become one so you can get a chance to win this vehicle when we're done building it. And to become a Patreon member, all you have to do is follow the link down below in the comment section and subscribe and become a member the more patreons we get the faster we can build this car for you guys and the faster you guys can end up winning it um so the goal will be to get rid of a lot of the stuff in here so maybe uh we'll give away the uh carb legal engine intake here and give it to a lucky patreon member because i don't have a need for it uh, we're not going to use a uh, cold air intakes in this car. We're going to design our own custom intake system for this car. So it'll be super, super cool and more unique because we're going to shave the engine bay and we're going to give it an awesome look. Uh, definitely going to design a lot of cool stuff for it. So stay tuned for that as well. But again, we won't do anything until you guys cast your vote, becoming a Patreon member. Only Patreons can have control over how the outcome of this car. So... Again, please follow the link below and get become a, become a member and let's get the progress going on this car. All right. Thanks for tuning in for this episode of Pinchial's Garage. And as always here, we're going to break, we're going to fix, and we're going to repeat. So peace out, everyone.